Welcome back to the Morning Blend. The Belladonna's Women's Cycling Organization began just a few years ago with just a handful of friends. Today, the group is filled with more than 700 active women. Ooh. They are a non-competitive group committed to getting women out of their comfort zones and onto their bikes. Pretty cool. Here to share more about the Belladonna's and their spring kickoff is the founder, Jillian Emilkowski, and program director, Michelle Kelly. Welcome to the Morning Blend, girls. Thanks Hi, for having great us. to have you. Yeah, this is pretty exciting. You guys started with five women locally. Now you've got hundreds of members. Yep. W what exactly is the Belladonna's and how did you get it started? Um, we are a women's mentoring and motivational cycling group. It started um, after I had been in a car accident a bunch of years ago and had a really tough time getting back on my bike. And I found there wasn't a lot of options out there for people in general that were trying to get into cycling, but women specifically. So. I strong-armed a couple of my girlfriends into training <laughs> for and doing a 100-mile bike ride, the wow. Trek 100, and then when we were finished with it, we just decided we had such a good time, we kept riding, and they told their friends and told their friends and told their friends. and. What a wonderful group. I just think it's so great. I mean, you had a very humble beginning, like you mm -hmm. say on your website. Five friends, meeting weekly, training for this 100-mile ride. And then in the past few years, grown to an amazing group of more than 700 women. How surprised are you at the, the, the following or the, the, what you've kind of ignited with this? Sure. When I came on board about 2009, I think it was, it was still a very small group of girls. We ran out of a uh, road, as it were, out of a bike shop on the east side and uh, it was pretty unofficial. And in the past few years, it has blown up in the best way possible, like crazy, just really unbelievable and, and remarkable. Yeah. Who can ride with you? Because like you mentioned, a lot of people want to get into cycling, mm -hmm. but they, they don't have a, a great bike mm -hmm. or they're not really sure how to start in because a lot of times you see cyclists going in a line mm -hmm. on the side or whatever of the, of the road, but you're like, I don't know the rules. I don't know how to do it. I don't have that kind of bike yet. Can anybody get involved? That's where we come in. <laughs> um, Did you start at that level? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have very distinct memories of being on a mobile phone the size of my head um, <laughs> yes. next to a cornfield in between Port Washington and somewhere else calling a bike shop that I didn't know and having them talk me through how to change a flat tire because yeah. I didn't know what to do and I didn't want that to happen to women again to mm -hmm. reinvent the wheel so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, so we are open up to women of all ages. Um, we've got women in their early 20s into their mid to late 60s of all experience levels. We have women who are just learning how to ride, mm -hmm. um, who are recovering from injuries, who are really nervous about urban riding. We have women who race or who are doing cycle cross or um, do triathlons and everything in between. And I love that you offer it to all skill levels. Mm -hmm. I think it's wonderful to be so inclusive. And one of the things that you, you now um, do because word of mouth spreads so quickly and you've grown that you now offer something I've never heard of before and it's the weekly no drop rides. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It means that it, no matter what pace you're going at, if you're 10 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour, anywhere in between, you will not be dropped, you will not be left behind. We ride out and we return together. We wait for uh, bike issues, tire issues, anything you can think of, we are there as a group and we do not leave anybody behind. That's so cool. So if you're the slowest in the group, someone will be still with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. If you are the most casual rider. Oh, I like that. <laughs> See, I like that. If you're yeah. a casual rider. Can you show up with a basket on the front and be that casual Absolutely. rider? Absolutely. The only thing I do not recommend for the Bellas are those big, heavy cruiser, beach yeah. cruisers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Most of our rides are um, are about 15 miles, a little bit okay. longer, and those bikes can just get to be cumbersome. But otherwise, I can tell you, as a woman that started the group, I love riding my bike slow. Yeah, so I like that. It's, it's not about how fast you go, it's about the intention with which you get there. And the type of bike, you don't have to have a racing, like fancy bike, you could have a, road, a regular mountain bike or a road, regular road bikes, road bikes. Mm -hmm. hybrids. Um, like I Wonderful. said. Wonderful. What's happening at your spring kickoff event? Because I know one time you had a kickoff event, you're like, oh, we might get a couple <laughs> people. And you were shocked at how many people turned out. So what will you be doing? Because this is happening um, Wednesday, April 29th, yep. right? Mm -hmm. So it's next, next Wednesday. week, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, the first uh, unofficial kickoff or official kickoff, I guess we had, it was just me and Becky Tesh looking at planning our schedule. And I think there were something like 18 women that showed up. Um, which was which was really shocking. We expected it to be just the two of us. Um, this year, we're expecting between 150 and 200 women. Wow! It's going to be at the Beulah Britton Community Center down on Bay Street, and we're having uh, there'll be 
food from the Lowlands groups, um, music from Milwaukee Airwaves. Uh, a lot of our sponsors are going to be there with information on how they support the Bellas as members. We're going to have membership information. You'll be there with two thumbs up. Yep. Just like that picture. <laughs> <laughs> your helmet, Fantastic. your riding shirt. <laughs> that is yes. so cute. I think yes. what you guys are doing is great. And your spring kickoff is happening next week, Wednesday, mm -hmm. April yep. 29th from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Great to see you guys. Thank you so Thank much for having us. You guys have done so such much. a cool thing. Yeah. Appreciate it.